In this video, I'm going to show you how to link Dynamics 365 or Power Platform data with Microsoft 365 data. So the use case is basically, say, take for example, you have a lot of sites created within your environment. So take for example, you have five Power Pages site and uh, you have a Dataverse database configured, which has a lot of contacts in it. It has a lot of accounts. It has a lot of settings, web roles, all those information. But uh, uh, the moment you go into Outlook, you know, and if you start referring to those files, uh, then what happens is like you're not able to link that. So the use case is basically uh, now I'm in Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Online, and this is one of my tenant. OK, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go into uh, uh, my inbox and then I'll start drafting an email Okay, to maybe say Alex. OK. Now I'll put some subject and here now if I want to write something okay so hello Alex um, can you please refer to phone call from and then the moment I put at the rate it will start prompting me for all the users within my organization so if I want to point out Grady I can just select and then Grady will be marked and then Grady will receive special attention in that email okay so this about referring to the people okay so this is this users still belong to microsoft 365 or maybe your azure active directory but what about dynamics 365 data now there is a way so if i just put slash okay if i just put slash the forward slash then you will be able to see all the files within your uh uh, OneDrive. Okay, so this is the file which is stored in my OneDrive. The moment I put slash, then I can refer to the file which is uh, created using, uh, which is like basically stored in my OneDrive. Okay, so I can select test PPT and then this particular file gets shared. You know, it, it gets attached to this particular email uh, as a reference. And then can you please review? Okay, this is how you can uh, basically uh, do that cross referencing. Now, if you see in this example over here, uh, let me show you that. Yeah. If you see this, this is coming from Azure Active Directory uh, and this is coming from your OneDrive, but nothing is coming from your Dataverse. Okay, so what if you want to get something from your Dataverse, then there is a way. Uh, so there is one setting. So I'm going into my different tenant because here I have turned it on. Okay, I'll show you that example over here, but let me show you in this tenant itself, where are the settings? So what you need to do, you need to go into the Power Platform Admin Center. So admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Go into your desired environment where you want to turn this on. Okay, now remember Dynamics 365 Power Platform Cloud is different from Microsoft 365 Cloud. Although it belongs to Microsoft, Microsoft still warns you that the information will flow from one uh, cloud to another cloud. Okay, so I'm here. So if I select this environment and if I click on settings, then under product, if I go into features, and if I see on the right hand side under search, there is an option for search for records in Microsoft 365 apps. Okay. Now here, what it says is when on people can search for and add links to Dataverse record in Microsoft 365 applications like Outlook and Word. Data may reside outside your compliance service and geographic boundaries. So it is quite possible that your Microsoft 365 tenant is hosted in some location and your Power Platform environment is hosted in some location. And that's why Microsoft is specifically uh, giving you that heads up that if you are OK, then only turn this on, uh, turn on this feature. OK, so for me, I think it's OK. I'll just click search for a course in Microsoft 365 apps and then I'll just click on save. The moment I do that, this change will persist and it will take uh, almost, uh, I'd say, an hour for this change to get propagated. And that's the reason I have turned it on in one of my another tenant. And that's why I'll be demonstrating it on that. OK, so let's assume that you have turned this on. Then what are the changes you will find? OK, now if I go into my email, OK, where like I'm going into the tenant where this setting is enabled and if I click on new email, and maybe let me send this to Alex. And 
test okay now here if you see it says type slash to insert files and more okay now last time when we did this uh, we we did this action we did add the rate and then we refer to people right so here i'm going to refer to adele okay by putting add the rate and the moment i put slash over here then you will see three options the first three is coming from your one drive okay so i can easily refer to one drive but in the bottom you will see external as well okay so let me just remove this and let me just get some more real estate so that i can show you everything okay so if the moment i put slash now it is referring to something over here australia victoria Girish. now this is these are all my power pages site okay so it is referring to the power pages site so let me refer to the power pages site okay so and then i'll call this as power pages site so i can refer to power pages site directly okay in outlook second if i just type say maybe a and then here i can see that i can refer to an account okay so air france's account uh, it's a basically an organization within my account table. Okay, so I can refer to an accounts here as well. Then again, if I type in A, then I can refer to a contact. So now Adele is one of the contact. Adele is one of the contact in Dynamics 365. Okay, let me show you that again because that was not visible. So if I type in Adele, if you see uh, on the bottom, contact in Girish Dev Environment. Let me type in B and then show you that I can re even refer to a web file which is hosted in my Power Pages site. Okay. Now, a beach ball, this is one of the file I have uploaded as a web resource in one of my Power Pages sites. So I can even refer to that as here. Okay. So that is pretty much cool. Okay. So uh, then I will just type in C and C. I can refer to the web file, I can refer to the website. Uh, I can refer to um, another website. Okay. Now let me see what else I can refer. I can even refer to all the pages. Okay. So the moment I type home, you know, like there are like a lot of home page. Uh, so this is a, a site marker. Uh, I can refer to a site marker in the site. So this is a site marker. And if I just type in H. Then I can refer to a home web page. Okay. I have even created a, I believe, a world page. So active words. Okay. So that's a list. You can even refer to a list. Okay. So here is the list. This is a web page. And there are many other things which you can do over here. So what we have done essentially over here is we have connected these two clouds. Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365 or Power Platform, and then try to refer, cross refer the content from this, provided you are in that same uh, tenant or you have that rights to access those components. Now, what the component we can access is we can access the the Power Pages site, which is hosted within your environment, the accounts, the contacts, the web resource, the site marker, the web page, the list. And then uh, we can even uh, refer to a lot of other things, like you can even refer to a site setting, okay? So if there is a site setting within your Power Pages site, and if you want to have some conversation with your team member, then you can access that as well, okay? Now, uh, the other things which you can do is, uh, let me see what are the other options which I can get over here. So if I put G, I can get a contact, so that's fine, which I have already seen, H is fine, I uh, is again a site setting, ref file, and K does not have anything. L again, there is a content snippet. So if you see here, this is a content snippet for one of the websites. So even I can refer to that. So basically, anything which is, if you see in your Power Pages site uh, uh, in the back end, you can technically uh, uh, view anything. So I'll just open the one of the Power Pages sites. So maybe this is one of the Power Pages sites which I have already created within my environment. Now Power Pages has a backend uh, database, I'd say, which is technically a dataverse table, uh, which uh, through which you can configure various settings for your Power Pages site. Now those particular sites you can um, actually extract all those value within Outlook now. Okay, because that's part of your 
uh, Dataverse, and then Dataverse can be directly cross-referenced within uh, Microsoft Outlook. Now, uh, here I have opened a Power Pages site. Now, within this Power Pages site, I can go into the back end. So, how to navigate to the back end is uh, the, if I click on this three dot, and if I go to Power Pages Management. Now, in Power Pages Management, uh, basically it's a back end database for your hosted Power Pages site. Now, here you can configure list, web forms, uh, content snippets, settings, site setting, web roles. Uh, contacts uh, and and there are many things which you can configure over here and these all these things if you want to have a conversation with your colleagues so take for example if you want to have a conversation with your colleague with regards to say site setting and one of the site setting is called as say maybe links slash logout if you want to have that conversation you need not even just take a screenshot you just refer in your outlook and those can be uh, then propagate those information can be propagated to a colleague and the colleague can just directly click on the link okay now there are a whole bunch of things which you can configure like the content snippet basic forms list shortcuts web files uh, multi-step forms uh, web templates web pages uh, and then so on and so forth okay so there are a lot of things which you can configure uh, which you can basically refer in your uh, outlook so that's what we have done over here right so that's it folks this is how you basically um, connect your Dynamics 365 and Microsoft 365 Cloud with just turning on one of the settings named as search for records in Microsoft 365 apps. Thanks for